a crossing of the fourth by way of the rail bridge and road bridges. Little did we realize in the latter days of February 2020 that the world we knew was shortly to be driven off course by COVID-19, that the simple pleasures of exploring a village, viewing an estuary from a dramatic vantage point, or sharing a sandwich with friends would be suspended. In April of that year, I started keeping a photo diary as a point of reference for the evolving new normal. I was looking back over my photos and videos and decided to scroll back a few weeks earlier. And I came across this trip that we made with a friend from Pennycook, and it struck me as a singular day of the old normal. The fourth rail bridge was completed in 1890 and has remained a landmark ever since. It's roughly 14 kilometers north and west of Edinburgh. It spans from South Queen's Ferry to North Queen's Ferry, over 2,500 meters with two 520 meter spans. That allows 42 meters of clearance for shipping, including tall ships. But enough of the numbers. Here's our journey by rail and by foot. We began at Haymarket in Edinburgh and traveled to the North Queens Ferry Station by way of Dalmeny Station. It's, of course, difficult to get a clear photo from a train moving through a bridge structure. Video is much less limited. <laughs> We explored North Queen's Ferry in the following images. To say it is dominated by its neighbor is an understatement. So here's some views. Most images of the fourth rail bridge are captured at a distance. Let's zoom in. Earlier, we had a view from inside the train, and here's some trains passing north and south.
We could have taken the train back across, but completing the circuit by walk by a walk through North Queens Ferry to the older Fourth Road Bridge and then to South Queensbury seemed to be a poetic option. It provided yet more views of the rail bridge as well as views into the structure of the road bridge that most commuters would never see. Granted, it was seriously windy. I've found few images from South Queens Ferry. Perhaps we were so full of the journey that we had little or no mental space to remember to record those last steps. Could we recreate that journey and those innocent pleasures? Physically, of course, it's possible. However, I have changed. There is a wariness an altered sense of personal space that has evolved over the intervening months and years. There is still some distance to travel.